Hello, Internet! This is Lord Mad Dog, and we are playing From the Depths. Yeah! <laughs> okay! So, welcome to the sandbox, momentale. This ship is called the Starlight. Right now, all it is is the outer casing. It has no weapons, no nothing, but it has its drive systems, as you see. It is extremely maneuverable. Watch this. Instantaneous turn. Instantaneous up, down, and spin. Really, really maneuverable. And how is this achieved? You ask, because if you look around, there's not a single jet or anything available or anything to be seen. It's on the inside, done by a very complicated spin block system. With a very, look, oh, it's awesome because it's spin block, it is very capable of actually being a uh, underwater, what do they call them? Um, I'm having a bad time remembering what a submarine is called. Can you believe that? Hey, yes, it is a capable submarine at 13, 14 miles per, per, meters per second. It's pretty close to one of the fastest submarines I've ever seen. <laughs> you can't be very fast as a submarine, as a, as a big submarine. All right, so this is the Starlight. The beginning of the starlight, as it say. I don't know what I'm going to do for weapons yet. I have an ideal, but I don't know. We don't have lasers in the camp. We do have lasers, but not laser turrets in the campaign yet. But we do have um, shields, so I will be putting shields on this. Right now, it only cost, um, nope, hit V, V, 6K. The base cost 6K, where my other ship cost base mm, I think it's close to 10k now because it's outer casing is all metal as well and I'm going to be putting shields on the insides it's only going to take four shields for this thing I think well we could probably up it to a little bit more than four but we don't really need to ah and then I'm going to add of course I got to add another engine in here I'll be taking that engine out and putting another one right beside it and then having to rearrange it to go all the way up there yeah that's my, my exhaust port and we will see what we do for weaponry however that won't be this episode because this thing is going to be a killer i mean it is going to be it is going to be pro when i get done with it i'm going to probably be about 30 40k cost um, and that's a little bit overkill right now in the campaign. We might need that for the white flares or something else. But I just wanted to alert you that there is another beautiful vehicle in the makes because we unlocked, was it last program or the program before? We unlocked spin blocks. And I like spin blocks. Alright, so let's jump right on back into the campaign. Alright. Welcome back to the actual campaign mode. We are still using the Basher 2 to fight. And we got blockaded when I was over here dealing with this not mining by two random creatures. The Snapjaw, if you remember the Snapjaw way back, 58k cost. This thing I was beating up with my, I think at the time, my dasher cost only uh, 10, no, 11k uh, resources and I was beating the crap out of the poor thing. And then it disappeared on me, the Snapjaw did. All right. And here's a vessel I don't think we have seen before. The Falconheim. And its cost is 295, no, uh, Wait, no, that's only 29K. Why did I think it was 295K? <laughs> that was dumb. No, it's only 29K. It actually cost less than the, the snap jaw. So this will be a rather easy smack em down battle, but it will be a fun one. All right, so let's jump right on in. Begin battle. 
And pause. There we go. So yes, the Falkenheim and the Snapjaw. I guess the Snapjaw went back to get repaired. Look at this thing. Cool. I do like the looks of the Snapjaw. It's really nice. What are these blocks made out of? What is that made out of? I don't recognize those type of blocks. They're tires! It's one big wheel! Scaled! Oh, that's cute. And let's go find out the Falconheim. Oh, the Falconheim is a... is a drone ship. Look at that. Oh, yes. I've killed the Falconheim. I think I even captured the Falconheim once. Actually, I know I filled the Falconheim and captured it once. All right, so let's get back over here and go blast these poor creatures out of the water. Speed up all the way. And let's kill the Falconheim first, just because I want to. Boom! The first volley and it missed horribly. Oh shoot, man, I'm getting hit by this thing. I need to get above its guns. And a good old shot from the top will take it down. Come on, what's going on? Why aren't you shooting? Did I lose my bottom gun? No, I didn't. And we just gutted it. And we'll just gut it again. Boom. There goes the bottom gun, shooting a hole straight through the Falconheim. And there's a lot of banging and shooting going on. I think I'm not, I don't think I'm getting hit by anything, but there's a lot of banging and shooting going on. Oh, these stinking little drone ships are shooting at me. Let's see if I can hit one. Fire. And boom, there goes that little drone ship. Obliterated. <laughs> That's cute. Here, let's get this one. Oh, you dodged! Let's see you do that again. Nope, didn't. You're going down! And you did. Let's go after the... The Snapjaw. Oh, he hit me with a missile. <laughs> My missiles are very easy to hit. Be blown right off. Oh, wow! My guns bounced off the side of him. I don't know why that happened, but we hit his gun and you see it all being shot out the bottom. Oh yes, that's beautiful. Ejection. Of his ammo. Ah, I think I did something really bit important, didn't I? Now, I could go ahead and capture these guys. Because, well, they're already down. But I don't really want to spend the time to do it. I like blowing them up. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Oh, beautiful. Ah, right, yes, we need to go capture him. It would be a waste not to capture them. I don't see how I'm running out of hmm, resources like this. I should have a lot more resources than I have already, I think. <laughs> that a, was a nice hit. That took that thing almost out and won completely. And now it's time to eject. Ah, oh, yeah, the ejection worked.
Come back here. Don't you go running off on me. Where is your cop? Your, I think your AI is in your cockpit. Right? I remember killing it last time. Yes, I did. Right here. Boom. What? No? That wasn't your AI? How about this? Is this your AI? Was that your AI? No, it wasn't your AI. Where is your AI? Aha! Found it. Boom. I think it's mine. Yes, it is mine. Let's get out of this thing. Oh, too damaged. What? But it wasn't too damaged before. Darn. I wanted to add it to my fleet. Though I've never actually used it in my fleet. And I don't really plan on doing it either. I want to keep it. The whole object of this thing is to have just one ship that takes them all out. Flown by the player, made by the player, and owned all the other ship in one go. Okay, I'm a bit extreme, I know. Where is this thing at? We're going to capture this ship here. Coming down. Whoa. Whoa. Probably shouldn't have done that. Eject. Oh, it's shooting at me. Bad ship. Don't shoot at him. Oh, look at that! Right there, oops. Come on, up, jump up, jump up. Come on, jump up. Why am I having a hard time jumping? I jump right here and shoot the AI. Where are you at, AI? Ah, come on, stop falling down. Jump. No, 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 there. There we go. Where is the actual AI on this thing? Oh, I fell down again. Come on, come on, up, up, up. Uh, and I don't want to have to shoot through all that mess, so I've got to go back up and over through this. Ah, shoot. Out, out, up. Don't fall down again. It's like I'm weighed down by lead somehow. There we go. Wait, this doesn't actually look like it is the AI. I know it, it's got to be though. The AI is in there, right? Just my luck, it doesn't seem to actually be. Now it's too damaged. I did it too damaged. I ain't gonna capture it. Ah, oh, darn. Ah. <sighs> ah. Battle finished. Pull off and play. Hey. Oh yes, I captured the Falkenheim, but the Falkenheim died. Yes, I want to destroy the Falkenheim's engine. I mean, blueprint. All right, so that was this. Now we need to build something here. 
So we're going to teleport right here. Go down, down to three meters. There we are. Escape, load vehicle. Our radar thruster, load. Where are you at? It didn't load. Ah, there it is. Pull from play. And start repairing. And it can't repair itself. No, I need to build something here. And miscellaneous repair tentacle. No, that's a vehicle spawner. Repair, repair, no, that's nuke. I don't like to, I haven't unlocked the nuke yet, have I? There's my repair tentacle, duh. Oops. Down, wait, no. Aha, it's the wrong way. Come on, what's going on there? Why? Oh, I'm not up one. There we go. Boom, there. We will name this ship Save Vehicle as Bot. Arbot. Oh, no cap shots. Arbot. And we'll pull it out of play. Oh, we don't have to pull it out of play. That's nice. It is repairing. Pull the pull, pull, pull all places out of play. And is this hill? Yes, it is now full life. Oops. And we'll bring it all the way up. And it should be gathering the resources from here. Teleport. Well, let's make sure we're gathering the resources from this thing. It doesn't actually have enough engine power to do that. I didn't know that. Hmm. It looks like we're going to have to add another engine on this thing. Let's just go the fuel engines, the Hercules, the... the the Eco Max. Here we are. There we are. Now we have enough energy. And we will need to also put more of these things on. E blocks. Normal blocks. Blocks. Yes. And you're not in a research zone right now. I knew that. And I can't exactly control you. You can move, but you cannot really. Uh, well, just move it until you get in the higher space area. And there, that should definitely be enough resource harvesters. And we will now pull you out of play. Why can't I go back? Oh, that had to be out of pull, out of play. And we will have you go back over here so you actually may mining my resources. 5,005 per second. Reserve 24,000. That's actually not that much. These are really small. I'm going to kill the Prowler. No, I'm going to keep the Prowler. Let's repair the Prowler. Okay. I will be right back. So, 
I built a little radar dish here and it's now mining this little whatever thing. Yes, it's limited to only 200 some thousand in there. And I am now flying the flasher over this direction. And there's a paddle gun, a red tuna, a red tuna coming after me. And there's also this. Uh, the small house, swordfish, seabed. I think we're going to go ahead and attack this. And then I'm going to go for... Hmm, I'm going to probably gather all these enemies in one area and head for it. But first, let's go ahead and attack this thing. There is a swordfish, which is something I have never seen before. Map. Pause game. Because it will not... Ah, oh, let's see. What's the swordfish look like? <laughs> the map is not loaded. <laughs> the ground is not loaded. Oh wow, hey, this swordfish looks like a rather nice ship. What are you? Deep water guard swordfish. So you got a cram cannon on the front. A decent amount of missiles. I need some missile defenses. I really do. All right, so let's do this. Just wipe out these guys real quick and fast like. I will not show you me capturing the, um, what's it call it? The, the, the buildings. I will just kill the building. I mean, kill, kill this swordfish and then cut to the end after I've captured all the other things. Ooh, here comes some missiles. Let's dodge them. Oh, come on, dodge those. I need some missiles defenses systems. And take that, swordfish. Ooh, direct hit. Doing massive damage to the swordfish in one shot. Too damaged. All right, let's take out the coastal defense. Oh, and there goes the coastal defense. And let's take out the seabird. And there goes the seabird. Not quite gone, but close. Ooh, that was a close shot on its side too. It almost hit me. And one more round. And there goes the seabird. Completely and totally, utterly decimated. And my own missiles are trying to hit me. I think. Not hitting the right corner angle. Here, shoot inside. There we go. Too damaged. I could have captured it. But I don't really need the resources. There we go. Coast of Defense gun. I am going to cut here. Capture everything. And I'll be right back. Destroyed them. Oh, well, took them over. Now I am going to destroy them. Scrap. Yes, scrap. Do not need them. Now I am going to fly right over here and grab their loot. Only worth 2k apiece. Let's move faster than that. That's annoying. There we go. And we've got two more people arguing us. And I'm not sure what they are in there. Usually it shows me the urchin, the crosshair and the urchin. And this is not showing me whatever. But this one is the one we're headed for. It is the paddle gun, the red tuna. And I think the paddle gun from if my memory serves me is a beautiful ship worth almost 100K. Nope, 40K. Ah, not bad. We're gonna try to capture the paddle gun because I like its turrets. 
if my memory shares me right, that's the one I like. All right, so let's begin this battle. Save first. And there goes a 2016 game saved over. Wait, that's two years ago. Almost. I didn't look at the date. This the month. Okay, so let's just uh, yeah, I'm hitting the wrong buttons again. You gotta go tap. That's it. That's the one I'm looking for. Good thing I hit the pass button, did it? There we go. Let's look at this paddle gun. Well, we got the true red tunas and we got the paddle gun. Yes, this is what I remember. Look at this thing's guns. Those are deadly. I want them. I'm going to put them on the starlight. At least I'm hoping to. Um, this thing will destroy me, though, if I don't get in on the other side of its weaponries. Maybe I should have spawned in a bit higher. Alright, so let's turn my speed all the way up and let's move and get behind the paddle gun before it starts shooting. Because if that thing starts shooting, I'm going to go, oh, 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 it is shooting. And it has proximity weapons. Oh, man, I have to, no, no, no. Oh, yoo-hoo. Proximity shooties. I'm going to try to hit it from here. Trying to stay out of its range. Its, its weapons blow up. I think I took out one of its guns. Oh, dude, that was close. I did get hit some, but I did hit it. I do think I took out, yes, I took out its gun. Now to take out its other gun. And those Red Tuna's missiles are smacking into me. Two damage, no, I wanted to capture you. Ah, nothing but big guns, well. And there goes the red tuna. Well, not completely gone, but mostly gone. Oh, that guy just went up too. Let's see, right there, fire. Too damaged. And I missed. Then if I again, I hit. This time I hit. No, still not dead. And two damaged. All right, this mission, this battle is over. I wanted to capture the two, the, the, the paddle gun, but I didn't capture it. Ah, it just blew up once I destroyed both of its turrets. <laughs> Map, pull off from play, and uh, save. Save, six slot, yep. Continue. And let's go on over here. Well, am I at full life? Yes, I'm at full life. We're gonna cut straight through this territory and argue this, and argue this, and argue that. We're gonna argue three things, and then that will be the end of this episode after we fight all of them. Well, this thing's gonna run off over here. I don't even know what that is. It's only moving at 14 meters per second, too. Let's go 10 times. And here we go. Yes, let's see what we've got on us. We've got the urchin, whatever the urchin is. The paddle gun prototype. Oh, another paddle gun. A Corsair, the Corsair. You know, I may have not have been a good idea to just go charging right in on this. The Corsair. The Corsair, the Goth, the Shriek. Well, the Shriek's not going to be any danger to me. I remember back in the day when that was a deadly design. Now, though, it's not. The Coffin Nail. The Coffin Nail, if my memory serves me right, has some deadly, deadly um, uh, cannon on it. 
Save game. This is gonna be one heck of a fight, one I probably not win. I have to bit stupid to fly on all this way. Here we go. We are gonna get behind the paddle gun. Because I don't want to um, <laughs> fight that thing head on. I know it's a bit cheap, but I'm fast flyer. It lets me do it. I'm doing it. Uh, and turn this ladder all the way up. That way we have all enemies in battle at one time. And pause. Let's see what the paddle gun prototype looks like compared to other stuff. Off. A paddle gun prototype. Oof. That thing's ugly and worthless. It's using cram cannons. <sighs> And we got these two little things. What is this? Ah, oh, this is, um, what are you? You are the urchin. All right. It's just a small little thing. And then we got the goths, we got red tunas, and we got, what is this? Oh, a new flyer. Is it the Fixit Felix? No, it's the Shriek. Wait, no, that's not the Shriek. That's not what the Shriek even used to look like. The Shriek used to just be a little, like, box floating thing. Ah, whatever. Alright, we're going to take out the battle gun first, just because it's still dangerous. If it hits me with one of them guns, I'm going to go boom in one go. And full speed ahead. And I wish I could start this thing at full speed. And fire! Right on the paddle gun. Full load of ammo, shot off. Oh, and it shot its missiles. And I missed my shots. And there goes the paddle guns. Oh no, my main weapon did not go. Now the main weapon will go. They're gonna have a collision too, look at that. Ooh, missiles coming in every direction. I have an awful lot shooting at me. Fire already, kill that thing. There, I think it went down. I'm gonna count that as down because I'm gonna move on to this thing right here that I have a perfect shot at, perfect range, and I'm not watching what's shooting my backside. Boom! Wait, do you have shields on you all of a sudden? Yes, you have shields on you. When did you get shields on you? None of the other versions of you have I seen have shields. That's a beautiful picture. <gasps> I'm looking at the picture and I just, my turret just utterly blasted it in pieces. Well, that was just stupid. I mean, there was no amount to the amount of stupidity that was. Uh, that's gonna cost me an awful lot to repair when I shouldn't have had to. There goes the goth. A direct hit to its systems. Let's kill the sea urchin. And if we can, there, boom. Oh wait, no, it's shot. That's what it was, it's a weapon going off, not it blowing up. Oh no, that's still the, hey, I didn't think that the paddle gun was still operable. I thought I shot it and destroyed it. There, sinking and below health. Now let's kill the urchin. Boom! Oh wow, nice shot. Boom! Oh, come on, no, no, no. Let's come around and shoot straight at it so we get a good shot down the line. There we go! Because I lost my top turret by running into the goth as I was looking at the beautiful sun sight. Sun, it wasn't actually a sunset, it was more of a... I missed. And again. And 
And again. And missed again. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. I ran smack dab into those missiles. Spawn at the Lasher. Lasher, do not splash into the water, Lasher. Do not go into the water, whatever you do, Lasher. No. Teleport. Oh no. Full speed. Too damaged. What? What do you mean you're too damaged? <gasps> and there went the Lasher. Well, Basher, Lasher. It died. I lost my ship. Well, that's what you get when you try to take on so many enemies at one time. I, what, probably 10 to one? That was just brilliant of me. And I think I'm just gonna scrap that flagship. It's had its run. We're gonna go ahead and a 15K. Hey, I'll get most of my resources back. But I'm over here. I'm gonna go ahead and build it again. Let's teleport back over here. That was stupid of me. Really stupid, really was. Time to take on way more than what I can handle. Uh, Basher 2. Load. No, not build, there. Now let's pull you out of, pl pull all out of play. And make sure you're repairing. Come on, repair. Why aren't you repairing? Uh, why aren't you repairing? There's the flag bot that, hey, no. Oh, I hit the wrong one. I can't hit it. There we go. Nope, still can't select. There, now repair. Why aren't you repairing? There we go. It'll be repaired rather fast. And it will lower my max amount of mon money down dramatically. I will have to get that back. And these guys are all running off to some modem place. 30, 35. Well, there's guys running all the way out there. The river home. Anta line, the sea line. I still don't know what this is. It doesn't tell me what this is. All right, so let's go ahead and speed up time while this thing builds itself. There we go. Teleport to it. We will attack this thing. Speed up. More speed up. Yes. I really did deserve to get my butt kicked in there. I mean, I'm kind of upset about it, but I guess taking that many on at a time is just not all that smart. It really wasn't. I save because I don't like, I sometimes get crashes. Well, all Alpha games sometimes get crashes. From the depths, though, I will say, is probably the one of the le games I get the least crashes on. The Atlas! Whatever the Atlas is, I have never actually seen the Atlas. Or have I? Actually, I think I have. The Atlas Gang, no, the G Gantry Atlas. I think it was the, the Atlas Gantry was what was being built, was the Atlas there. All right, so let's begin battle. Map off, F11 off. That's mm, okay. Um, where is this thing at? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's just a, a flying ship of some sort. We got a picture of the Atlas. It looks like it'll die in one or two shots. Mm, if I can get my mouth, my wish that I've said it many times, and I will say it again. I wish that, oops, wrong button. That you could set the preferred start positions of the camera and preferred start positions of all your thrusters. And I really would like it if they actually had a control seat you could sit in. 
Well, I had turned up my thrusters. What's going on? I just lost my bottom thing because I was hitting it the wrong button. No, my thrusters aren't starting. What the heck? I've got fuel, I got... What? How'd that happen? All my settings are changed. What the heck? I think, I think that warrants a reload. Somehow all my settings got changed and I didn't do it. All right, so I started the battle again, but I all my settings are still changed. However, I'm going to try to kill this thing with my settings. No, I can't even shoot. That's how did my gun uh... Take that, you. Hey, I dead, and I win. Ha! And I wasn't even able to fly. Ah. Now it's time to fix this. What the heck happened? All my settings on these things is all gone. Well, no, that's right. H, J, K, yeah, I think those are right, right? I can't tell. Uh, those are right. Those are gone. Why are those gone? Wait, no. Yes, there, right there. Yes. Yes. Somehow, my settings got changed. That's really weird. Well, I do believe that's actually all we really have time for today. I wanted to get most more of the deep water guard gone and destroyed, but time did not allow. And there was a small dog problem of me getting myself blown to smithereens. <laughs> so, Lord Mad Dog, signing off.